I'm very impressed about the speed. The pages are lightning fast. They are extremely fast. My landing pages load so fast. I was blown away from the speed. It's, it's the speed that's really catch my eyes. How is this possible? What's up? I hope you have a good Friday or whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a good day. Um, this is Kuhn, I'm the marketer at Converti, and today I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Uh, this is the first time uh, we are showing our new improved 2.0 builder, and I'm really excited to show you all the cool things you can do with this. I'm going to show you some really awesome uh, sneak peeks uh, no one has seen before, uh, and show you how what the builder can do for you. As you can see, the page is empty, there's no page, so let's add a page first. Alrighty, we have a page. Now to show you how you can like add blocks and add elements, I'm just gonna build some stuff from scratch. So when you click on the content button, you get like a pop-up with some blocks. So just let's insert some blocks, right? Just get some, all right, that's one. As you can see, you just click and it's on the page. Um, when you click on this big plus button, you can, you can just add another block. So let's add, I don't know, Oh, let's add a testimonial, that's cool. All right, just put that underneath. All right, as you can see, it's very easy to add blocks uh, in this editor. Hover over like elements like a title or, uh, or something else, you can see there's a little plus as well. So basically if you click this plus, you get different elements you can, um, you can add to your page. So for example, I wanna have a form. Well, just add a form. Bam, cool. So when you click on an element, most of the time you get like a small uh, menu on the left side. So when you do, for example, my first form, which is pretty cool, uh, we can add steps. So for example, what one, like, what do I want to uh, ask? For example, well, let's just keep it very basic. This is an email, right? All right, this is cool. So um, that's how you add elements, which is nice. So. To explain a bit more about the editor, the editor um, was built like it was based on the design principles of Apple. What basically means is we, the designers, the UX designers and developers behind the software, they already predefined a lot of design options for you. For me as a marketer, that is really great because I am not very good at web design. So when there's a lot of styling already predefined, it's all designed very well but if you want to redesign certain blocks or elements you can do that you can go really in depth for example here with like uh, different uh, design styles but um, just to show you uh, we're now on the page and you can you can edit the styling of the complete page in here we call this global styling so if you want to have a funnel this is for like this is for the like the complete page for example you can say, hey, I want to have my primary color, uh, for example, red. And you can see everything that's like, has had the, has the primary color changes into red, right? And you can do the same with the secondary color. So what this means is you can keep your designs very consistent and, it's, and, it's, and, it, and it looks very professional that way. Um, the same with the theme basis. For example, everything that has like borders and like, like for example, a form or, or a button, right? If you can say, well, I might wanna have pills, right? So everything like buttons and things on your page change into this kind of theme, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to change it like separately. You just, you know, go around and just change these borders. It's the same with like, you can say, oh, it's bolder or it's less bold. You know, just, um, you can tweak it uh, how, how you like. And it's pretty cool. I have a lot of customization on your product. And they look good as well. It's pretty, it's, it's that simple. So basically you can build a page exactly like it's pictured in your mind. Uh, well, what else? But really, it's very easy for them to, to follow along. So the same with fonts. We have a lot of Google uh, fonts. For example, I love the, I don't know, Lato, Red Lato or whatever you call it. And as you can see, everything changes on the page. So you can keep everything consistent within this styling uh, section of the page. It's the same with typography. For example, let's say this is like a large heading, right? And um, so this is, let's change it to large, right? Uh, if we go back to styling, 
typography, I can actually change this font into something else. I can, as you can see, font resize. Uh, so all the large headings get changed, which is pretty cool. And I can you know, change the font, all this stuff, I can do that, which is also very nice. Um, so for every, um, this is predefined. So you already have predefined, well-designed font sizes, but you can also tweak them in this one. Same with button styling. I can say, hey, I want every button to look like this fucking big. It's like, <laughs> don't know where you want this, but you know, you can do that, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, with buttons, with forms, with everything, you can just style. Um, font size, you can say, oh, I want every form to have this font size, right? Um, Again, everything is pre-designed, predefined in this styling option. So, uh, so everything you uh, put out looks already very well. Uh, if you want to uh, really want to change things, you can always click on the element and go to advanced and really, really go to town on different elements of the uh, element. So you can really, really customize. If you want to, you can customize everything, but it, if you don't want to, just want to churn out funnels, pages very quickly, that's possible because everyone is already, everything is already designed very well. So that's really cool. Now, for example, um, as you can see, this image is way too large, right? You can resize it whatever you want, which is also really cool. Uh, you can also say, hey, I want to have more spacing here. Um, I mean, again, you can customize a lot of stuff, as you can see. Oh. So this is really cool. Um, like the same with font resizing, right? So for example, if I want to say, hey, I want this font, right? I want this to be smaller. I can do that here. I can just drag and say, whoa, this is really big. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I can, if you want to, you can customize every little detail about the page, which is really cool. Um, the same with like images, with text. Um, you don't have to, everything is already well designed, but if you want to, you can design everything like in depth when you go like in advance, right? So it's pretty cool. And if you click this one, it will reset to its uh, earlier stage. Now, we've really designed Convery to, for, for marketers, for like me, who want to churn out um, pages really fast. But again, you can customize a lot. There's another really, really cool feature a, the background color, it's called gradient, right? So this is a solid color, which is cool. I mean, okay, okay, I can do I can deal with this. But if you do this, this is really cool. Let's say it's red. How cool is this? And you can, you see this thing here? You can do like this, whoop, whoop, what? <laughs> That's cool, right? And you can, and I mean, the second one, I don't know which kind of color you want, but it's blue. Oh, it's ugly you know i'm not a designer but you get the point uh and the same with radio like there's like this big thing here right and then you can say it can be small bigger you know and so you can really get some like really interactive like really engaging kind of back colors in the background and, uh, and that's really really cool so this is the thing i really like about the builder right now uh you can really easily make it look more custom, you know, in a very easy few clicks way kind of thing. So that's really cool. So those are, those are the gradients, um, which is really, really nice. Now, we've talked about, you know, the whole design things and, you know, you can change all, all kinds of stuff. But what also really nice is you have different really cool elements, right? So let's say, well, just click here, right, to add an element. One of the things we've added are like scarcity uh, elements, which are, of course, they can really, really boost your conversions. Um, so we have a few, um, we're adding more, but at the moment we have three, and this is really cool. We get, of course, the classic one, but we also got like left in stock, which is really nice. As you can see, you can, when you're like selling like e-commerce products or whatever, you can really, um, for example, you have 3,000. You say, oh no, I got only 20 or 26 or whatever. You can you can decrease it on, on visits, for example. You can animate it. Um, it. It's really cool. So this is like a very scarcity kind of thing. Like, oh my God, you have to buy now because there's very low in stock. Uh, and that's a really cool thing. Uh, another really cool scarcity element, for example, is, um, let's say, uh, oh, this one. This is nice. That's just... Get this one 
let's see, let's put them here. You know, put some more room between them. Let's do that. Yeah, so we have more room so we can we can look at it better. All right, so as you can see here, you can just have a, a countdown, which basically counts down, for like for example, 220 days or whatever, which is cool. Um, there's a cool day picker. You can go really granular, right? You can go like two and ten, and you know, and oh my god, and uh, next year or whatever, like like May, you know, everything changes, and and that's really cool. Uh, you can of course change text here, like these days. You know, that's that's nice. Um, well, I don't really recommend that changing because that would be weird, but. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a very nice thing, and then of course you get evergreen. So basically, when people visit your page, um, the countdown countdown timer starts. So you have when you visit the page only five days, but it's for every individual that's different, right? So you can have the scarcity per personalized scarcity, uh, which is really cool. Um, and then you have this text. You can change this here, like your card is reserved for your product, whatever. And you can have some text after the countdown when, you know, countdown's done. You can say, hey, products are, uh, are gone. You can't buy this anymore. Or your card was reserved, but not anymore. So this is a really cool thing. It's are like scarcity, but more to create. I mean, you have the, the um, if you go here, you have, of course, this one as well, which is cool. Uh, this is the classic one, of course, but I mean, these are like a twist on the, on the, on the, uh, on the concept, which is really cool. Um, so these are some elements that are really cool that I don't have, I haven't found yet in other builders. Uh, but another really cool one is for example, if you have testimonials, we have like this, uh, Amazon review kind of thing, right? So look here, like five stars, um, we can add more very easily and we can add like the other name, the other location, whatever you can say, Hey, these had three stars or whatever. So it goes with five stars because that's like the normal thing you see on Amazon, for example, but it's really cool to, you know, can add more. If you have more, right, you can delete it. It's all very clean. I know what I'm doing. It's, you can, again, you can, the rapper, you can the author every little tiny detail you can customize if you want to. So it's already designed, but if you want to, you can. So that's really cool as well. Styling, you can say, hey, I don't want, I want red, right? I want, I want to have red, that's cool. So red stars, or I don't know, ooh, these look like gold. This is cool, right? So this is a real cool element as well. Um, we have another, <laughs> very enthusiastic. Uh, we have a video. Um, actually, it's an inline video. So you can like have like little looping uh, videos in the builder. For example, we are a SaaS, so we want to show, for example, different features in action, right? Uh, we can do that. We can just upload it, and then we have the link to the video, the MP MP4, and we can just have it um, on our page. And the cool thing is with Convert, it renders really well, so that your pages won't slow down. So that's really cool. So we're gonna, okay, this is too big. Just let's say 250, right? Uh, okay, so this is cool. Um, let's say, oh, I want to move this. I want this. <laughs> you, you can customize it whatever you want. Uh, styling, just this, the simple styling is here. The advanced, you can do whatever. Like, oh my God, you can do so many things. Um, again, size. If you want to have certain heights, look what's happening now. It's like going all the way down. It's crazy. Um, so again, a lot of customization power here. And this is a cool feature because you can really show your product, your e-commerce or your software or, or whatever you have in action with very short, powerful, punchy videos. Uh, again, I didn't see this in any other builder. So that's really, really cool. Um, let's, there's another thing I want to show you. It's about devices. Um, so when I, for example, add another block, See, like this is a standard form block, right? So it's something like, okay, all right, all right, what we can do, what, what, what are we gonna do? So this is really cool, because you know, I always hate it when you have a device and everything you change on desktop, it also changes on mobile, and then you change the mobile again, and then shit changes on desktop again, and you get, ah, well, how can I not have this fucking work? So this is really cool. So you can have different layouts on desktop, right? With this, and this 
is actually for a lot of different elements as well. So you have this, right? So you go to mobile and you say, well, maybe I want to have this or this. It looks good, but if you go to desktop, it's still the same thing. So it doesn't affect a desktop or vice versa if you change something on different devices. For example, on, a, on an iPad, right? Or, or a tablet, I want to have this or this. And again, it doesn't change that uh, on another device. And I thought it was really cool because you can actually customize for every uh, device, every page for every device. And that's really cool because you can just really make it work great for every device. Uh, and I didn't really see this with a lot of builders. And this got me really excited. I don't know, um, it, it's, uh, maybe it sounds, but it's really, I mean, I've, this was a big problem for me when I was building funnels and pages. So this is another really cool thing. And again, you can switch between different devices to see how it looks. Uh, and that is really, really cool. So whoop, let's put it here. And also you can just say like, oh, I want this smaller, right? So customizable again, uh, whoop, nothing changes. Really cool. Um, another cool thing is you can actually save uh, blocks. So what it is, you can save them, you can reuse them also in different funnels, different projects. Um, so you don't have to, for example, if you have a great designed, well-designed block, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just reuse it and, you know, really speed up your whole funnel building process, which is just amazing. All right, so we have, again, we have all the elements. I showed you some design things you can do, which is great, for example, the gradients. Uh, another thing you can do is just, every page has, of course, settings. So you can give it a page title. You can, for SEO, you can give it, you know, the, the search engine see, you know, what your page is called. Uh, open graph, when you share your page or funnel on uh, social media, so you can control that. You can have, an, uh, you can have like third-party scripts in there as well, which is really cool. Um, so that is on page on a page level. For example, you can say, "Hey, I want to duplicate this page." Oh, see, another page. Of course, delete it. It's easy as that. You can add pages, which is nice. Um, this little gear is actually this gear icon is for all the settings funnel wide. So you see funnel settings. You can upload a favicon, which is nice. So I just boop. That's the thing you see in the tab in your browser tab, the little image. Uh, so if you have like a logo or something, you can upload it here. If you don't want to be found in, like by, by Google or any search engine, you say no index, um, you can do that here. You can do some tracking. So every pixel, like the major pixels you need to track your results uh, are inside the funnel. So you can add your tracking ID of Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Facebook Pixel ID. And actually with if when you have this one, you can do practically everything which is really cool and so you don't need any manual uh, scripts or any code or external stuff. It's just paste your code and track your results, which is really cool. Uh, certainly if you're not that techy, uh, we marketers are more, you know, we're maybe not the most tech people, but you know, this is very cool. Scripts, so you see scripts. Again, funnel wide, you can put scripts instead of the individual pages. Dynamic keywords, we can add keywords, you know, to match your ads better. So for example, if you uh, generate leads for a yoga studio in Singapore, you can say, or somewhere else in a city, you can say yoga studio Singapore, but then also if there's a different city, you can say yoga study studio Amsterdam or whatever. So that's a really cool feature that really can, I, I've seen some users use it and it really, it really increases conversions and it's a really nice feature to have. Then we have the cookie notice. Basically, of course, when you have to have a privacy notification when people hit your page, uh, that's, a, that's a, lot, a lot of places in the world that you need. So you can just all set it up here, which is again, really cool. Um, so those are the settings of the pages. Then we can, you get here. For example, we save the page. I mean, I wanna know how it looks, right? Cause Look how beautiful this <laughs> look how beautiful this is designed. I mean this is the most this is the highest converting page you will ever see in your life. So I mean <laughs> let's let's preview this thing, right? So preview basically what it does is generates a preview of how it would look. Um and let's wait on this sucker to ah, and there it is. You can see like oh this this is how my page will look. 
um, this is an alpha preview. So this basically says this is not like your published page. This is your page. As you can see, my first page. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, this is the preview. And well, when we go to publish, we can publish on our custom domain and or, you know, or on this crazy domains we just randomly generate. Um, custom domains, you can add a real, like a, like, a, like your own domain, you can host on our network or you can host somewhere else and use the C name. It's all possible. Um, and it publishes very quickly and loads and it's rendered and your pages are just lightning fast. Um, so this is a quick, quick, quick early tour uh, through the 2.0 builder. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I was blown away from the speed. Yeah, I, I was just raping the page, like <laughs> pictures and videos and all of the stuff, and as you still get a 90s on Google Insight. So how is this possible? Hey, Converti folks, Wayne Share here. I want you to know that Converti is the first drag and drop funnel builder. I've been able to truly create pages without code and not get lost in the user interface. The pages give me and my target audience a perfect user experience because they are fast and they are great. I love that I don't have to do a thing to get page load speeds of three seconds or two and a half seconds or less. This is such a huge advantage over others I've tried. The designs are beautiful, the pages are lightning fast, and support is night and day better than any I've got from previous funnel builders I've used, and I've used a lot. So if you want beautiful designs, the fastest loading web pages, and no need to do any coding along with the best support ever, Converti is the right choice. Thank you. Absolutely, I will recommend to uh, other marketers. Mm -hmm. uh, number one is the one reason, again, as, as, as I mentioned, is the speed. Number two is uh, uh, one of other other business owners on my on my area or my industry is financial services. So they're not really familiar with uh, with building funnels. Yeah, uh, with converting. Uh, con Converti, it's very easy for them to to follow along, uh, and it's very easy for them. There's a tutorials, uh, uh, help desk that you know, yeah that they can they can access to it. So it has yeah. like a low entry of uh, knowledge for building pages. Is that what you're referring to? That's correct. Yes, that's correct. All right, that's great to hear. Is there anything else you you'd like to add or you forgot to mention? Number three is price. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Hello, so this is Mike here. Um, I've been using Converdi since November 2019. Um, I first used it to launch my Facebook ads in January for my personal training business called Peak My Run. And uh, basically what I found is because my landing pages load so fast, I was able to get leads for roughly 23p which is probably the cheapest around in the fitness industry. I heard the averages are around £1.10. And I, I believe this to be down to, you know, simple landing pages, which load super fast and they look good as well. It's pretty, it's, it's that simple. Like if you guys don't purchase Converti and you're using other funnels, you know, them clickable ones, you're missing out. Like you're wasting your money basically because they don't load fast enough. So give Converti a try.